Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draft your very own princess that bustier with yolk. Let's get into it. I'm starting with the front pattern and that is my bust line, my nipple line, my under bust line and my waistline which is like my half blouse, okay? So from the top I went ahead to mark 5.5 inches, okay, because this um, blouse is going to be very wide. Then I went down by four inches and I marked my neck depth by four inches and I connected my neck width to my neck depth. And this is what we have going on here, guys. So from the middle, I also went ahead to mark the shoulder point and at the bust point as well, I marked the shoulder point so that everything will be equal. Then I drew a straight line for my shoulder point, okay. I came down by half an inch from my shoulder slant and I just connected my markings to my neckline. Now from the middle, I went ahead to mark my bust, okay, because I want to insert my armhole curve here. I went ahead to mark my bust. At my shoulder point, I took half the measurement of my shoulder point and at that point, I came in by half an inch, okay. So after doing this, I went ahead to insert my armhole. So this is my armhole here, looking beautiful, looking nice. The next thing I went ahead to do is from the middle, I marked the in-between. Uh, that's my nipple to nipple point at 4 inches. After marking my nipple, my nipple to nipple point at 4 inches before I bite my mouth, okay? This is what we have going on here, guys. So the next thing I went ahead to do is, remember that place we came down by half the measurement of my armhole point, of my shoulder point? I just connected everything together okay if you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing now from the middle at that point i marked half an inch i marked half an inch at that point and at this point i marked one inch okay and i'm doing this so that i'll prepare my markings to insert my bust here so after doing this i connected my waist to my underboss point connected my waist to my underboss point and then I connected my under bust point to my nipple point. You can see we have a very beautiful bustier sitting here looking at us. Okay. Now, from that point, I came down by one inch. Some people do 1.5 inch. See, it depends on your mood. And I connected everything back to my nipple point. If my voice is sounding a little low, this is 2 a.m. I'll be 3 a.m. And I'm doing voiceover for you guys. Okay. Now, from that point, I extended. You see that I extended that line bar. I extended it by one inch then i went ahead to connect my markings together okay so you see the distance between those two points i added it back to my to the width of my bust because i'm going to cut it out at that point i marked my under bust point and at that point i also marked my waist then i went back you see the distance between those two points i added it back because you guys know we're going to cut it out and we need the pattern to be accurate okay so i also did same thing i added it back so after doing all the addition and subtraction, I went ahead to connect my bust to my under bust point and then to my waist, okay? So this is what we have here for the front part. The next thing I went ahead to do was to connect, was to add one inch seam allowance on all points and I connected everything together. Now for the yoke, at my bust point, I came down by half an inch and the next, you can do one inch, depend on how revealing you want it to be. And I just connected it from that point to where my princess that um princess that line started from okay so this is how i inserted my yoke you can do your own however you want to but this is how i'm doing my own okay so this is what it looks like so i went ahead to tag it yoke and tag it number one then i went down and tagged it number two and i tagged the center front and i tagged that place number three and i tagged it side front okay so this is what we have for the front part of my princess that bust here with a yoke this is what it looks like. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy. It's time for the back pattern. Okay, it is time for the back pattern, men and brethren, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the back pattern, okay? And that is my bust point. That is my standard dart point. And the standard dart point is 9 inches from the top, okay? This is my under bust point. And the last line there is my waistline or half blouse, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing I went ahead to do was to mark out my zip allowance, one inch zip allowance, okay? So after doing this, I tagged it zip allowance, okay? So you don't forget. So after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do was to come down by one inch. And that's for my neck depth and 5.5 inches for my neck width. 
okay so after doing this i connected everything together and this is what we have here next thing i went ahead to do was to mark my shoulder point after marking my shoulder point i also did this at the bust point so that everything will be precise and accurate you guys know how we rule here okay i did it at the bust point as well then i came down by half an inch for my shoulder slant so that you know everything will be very relaxed you guys know our shoulder is not straight it is actually slanted okay so just like we did for the front i got the um the the my shoulder um ah, my shoulder point divided by two okay i got the middle uh -huh. after doing that i went in by half an inch and at the bust point i marked my bust measurement just like we did for the front i'm doing for the back okay so i just connected my everything together to get my arm hole okay so now at the at the at the waistline i marked four inches which is like my nipple to nipple point okay or the nipple to nipple point of the customer i marked four inches and after marking four inches i at the top and at the bottom i connected my markings together and this is what we have going on here guys now the next thing i went ahead to do is at the top i marked half a cm on both sides at the top of that that line i marked half a cm on both sides which is like one millimeter on both sides and at the bottom i marked half an inch on both sides show you by every meal uh -huh. at the top half a, half a cm on both sides at the bottom half an inch on both sides so after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do was to connect my markings together okay so after connecting my markings together this is what we have going on here you guys know we are going to cut that part out so i just went ahead to add it back to the pattern very 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 important okay so at that point i marked my underboss point and the distance between those two points i added it back to the pattern okay I added it back to the pattern the next thing i also went ahead to do was for my waist i took my waist measurement and the distance between those two that points because we are going to cut it out i added it back to the pattern so after doing all this i connected all my markings together and you can see we have a very beautiful shapey side for the back okay so now i this is going to be a fitted gown so i want to shape the zip allowance so it doesn't fold okay so at at the waistline i came in by half an inch and i just connected it to my zip allowance okay because i want to shape it so it doesn't bend or doesn't fold okay so now from that new zip allowance point i came i i, I extended my tape backwards and i marked one inch okay so this is what we have going on here i've successfully like readjusted the zip line yeah i think i would have extended it a little bit but you get the drill okay so i've readjusted the zip line now you have to readjust your measurement because it's shortened by half an inch so i'm just trying to like take the appropriate measurement to make sure that if i'm shaping everything looks good so i took the distance from the bottom to where like the slant stopped and i marked it on the side as well at the bottom i marked the half an inch okay the half an inch that i, I removed i added it back okay now see that point i took the distance between those two points okay and i added it back to my pattern okay so after doing that the next thing i went ahead to do now guys is to connect everything together okay you can see i connected everything together because if you just draw the half inch you will have like excess so that's why you have to make sure you are doing the right thing okay so this is what I did here. I just added back all the all the things I shipped from the zip allowance. I added it back to the side. So after doing this, the next thing I went ahead to do was to mark one inch seam allowance on all sides. Okay. And I connected all my markings together. Now see that initial markings, we don't need it anymore. So I just went ahead to cancel it at the side and also at the zip allowance side because they are not needed anymore. Okay. They should pack their load and be going okay so this is what the back part looks like i went for like a very simple back part i didn't want to do princess that at the back this is what we have here very looking pretty looking beautiful and i also went ahead to target that so that top 
top is going to be lace okay you can tag it yoke if you want then i tag this center back and i tag it number two and i tag the side back and i tag it to number three okay so after doing all the tagging i also went ahead to tag which particular fabric goes to which side so i don't get confused after doing all this i went ahead to cut and this is what we have going on here guys for the back part very simple very straightforward so i went ahead to place this um pattern paper on my fabric and i went ahead to cut so for the set for like the pattern i added like not i added like i actually added one cm seam allowance okay but around the armhole side i added half an inch because i needed to shape my handle before i attach my sleeve so for those sides one cm okay but for the armhole side i added half an inch do you understand me thank you for watching bye